So hello guys, it's um, pretty late but I got the lights out so I was just going to do a video. I um, changed my antenna, I had this antenna and it really didn't perform, it was actually pretty rubbish. And so I did some research and and always thought broomstick antennas were uh, the way to go but um, research found, uh, come up that not necessarily so I actually went to a elevated feed the standard GM eleva elevated feed with a 6.5 dB that's a tune setup this is performing a lot better than um, than this uh, elevated feed so what I'm going to do with this I'm going to put on a meter and just show you what what it comes up with, uh, with on the power meter and uh, SWA etc then I'm going to cut this up to see what's in here because uh, yeah this is a pretty pretty rubbish antenna and and um, you know everyone wants a, a broomstick on their car and you, you think it's a, a really good antenna but maybe not in a lot of cases and um, for because this doesn't actually fit in the garage I actually bought a little 3db that I put in for just around the city and that works pretty well as well so this actually works this 3db actually works better than this which I think is a 4db or maybe a 5db um, radome type broomstick antenna so okay so let's get in the car and I'll show you the meter and just the difference between the antennas and then I'm going to cut that antenna open to show you what's inside these broomstick antennas so let's get on with it so my antenna uh, sorry my CB sits in behind here and I have a a mic that just comes out of the dash there and uh, has the speaker and everything in the mic and I also have a speaker here so it just sits in here behind this panel and you can just pop this panel off at the back here is a couple little pop-off things whatever you call those and you just pull this up get it over that tab and you can just pull it out here so we just pull this little uh, box out just making, whoop, making sure the wires don't all get caught. <coughs> we just need to get to this connector here because that's what we're going to test with. Okay, so let's go and get the uh, meter. So the meter I got here is just a, a Revex um, 140 to 525 megahertz SWR and power meter. And um, I also have a dummy load. So this is if you want to test power um, this is quite a high power dummy load but if you want to test power without using the antenna you can use this but uh, we'll just uh, use the antenna and um, I just also got a patch lead which goes from one to the other so let's uh, get this hooked up so on the back here there's an antenna an antenna uh, connector uh, sorry, yeah, that's the antenna connector. Then we go from the set to the meter. So the meter's basically in line. Okay, so this thing has some settings. So we can do different power ranges. So 4 watt range, 4 watt sweep, 20 watt sweep and 200 watt. We're obviously going to be on the 4 or 20. There's um, a calibration SWR and power functions. And then there's forward and reflected power. So forward is how much power is going out to the antenna and reflected is how much comes back. And the ratio of that is your SWR. And the perfect ratio is obviously 1. So if you're getting 1.1, that means that uh, 0.1 of the power or 10% I guess is uh, getting reflected so um, let's uh, crank up the set and uh, get it uh, calibrated so first off what you do you put it on calibrate and you have this adjustment button here and you power you key the mic and you get to the calibrate at the end of the scale so we key the mic we key the mic and we get over to calibrate there we go so that's calibrated so you know, line that up. Then for checking power, you can go click up to the power function, and we're on four watts here. And most of these sets only get about three and a half to 
to four watts um, max anyway, so none of them are full five watts that I found. So we hit that button and there we are, we're nearly at four watts. So that's how much power is coming out of this set um, with this antenna. Interesting thing that I'll show you is the broomstick antenna, actually um, the power doesn't sweep all the way to four. It's at about two and a half. So you know, I know fundamentals about radios. I've played around in tech for a while, but I'm not a radio expert. So if any radio experts want to put comments down the bottom and explain some of this stuff, go for it. Um, I'm all ears when it comes to learning this stuff. There's some uh, pretty smart people out there. So um, feel free to uh, chuck up your comments or your theories uh, around this stuff. There's a lot of science, but also a lot of black magic when it comes to uh, antennas and radios. So that's, uh, that's the power. So if we wanted to check the SWR, we've got it calibrated. We haven't touched that. So we can go to SWR and we can key the mic and you can see that that needle barely moves in the forward position. So that means the SWR of this antenna is nearly perfect. There's a barely half a needle's movement. We go to reflected power and there's barely any movement. So that means this antenna for UHF is, is tuned nearly spot on. Um, and this antenna is the uh, 6.5 elevated feed um, uh, GME antenna. So let's move to the broomstick and uh, we'll see what happens with that. This is the, the broomstick that didn't perform. Okay, so now we're going to just change the antenna, uh, which is this one, to the broomstick style. And this is the one that didn't perform. So the interesting thing, so I'll recalibrate. So we go to calibrate and we key the mic. And the interesting thing that you first see is you actually can't get to calibrate. It actually doesn't push enough power, I'm presuming, and the experts can uh, chime in here, but to get to calibrate with this antenna. Maybe it's the antenna type, I'm not too sure. Um, but then when you, um, so you go to as far close to calibrate as you can get, and I'm guessing this is uh, related. When you go to power, you only get about two and a half watts rather than nearly four. And SWR is, as you can see, a lot higher. So it's at about, what's that, about 1.2, 1.3 on the SWR. Oh, bumped up there for a second. Sort of goes... So sort of tells me this antenna, this broomstick, is not a, as good an antenna as the standard whip and elevated feed. So yeah, comment. Let me know if I'm uh, onto something here. But I know it didn't perform anywhere near as well. Um, the new antenna performs a lot better. Um, so OK, let's uh, get on to um, cutting that antenna up and seeing actually what's in there. So, okay guys, forgive me the messy bench, but the first thing you'll notice when you pull the cap off, so this antenna here is around 700 mil long. So, i uh, just get the camera in the right place. So, that is about 600, so 700 mil long with the spring. And the first thing that I noticed was I pulled off the cap and I looked in there and there's not much in there so all the way down to there is hollow so when you have a look at that let's uh, actually measure how long this antenna has to be really so I measured this and from the very base to here is actually only 480 mil so this is advertised as a 774 uh, centimeter or 740 mil I think and yet there is just nothing in that top and that is just plastic so electrically I can't see that it uh, does anything and I can see actually down there and there's um, uh, I can see the top of what is it looks like a wire and it's uh, filled with foam so I'm going to cut this off here 
and then I'm going to slice it, try and slice it as neatly as possible to actually see what is inside here. So uh, let's get that done. So as you can see there, that's like the top of the wire that was sticking out uh, all the way down here. That just looks like the end of the antenna wire. So there's not much to that. That is literally just the antenna the end of the antenna wire so let's slice it up the long ways here and see what we can uh, see in there So we have it, um, I'll just spin this around. So we have it split and as I can see in there, there's a couple of little bits and pieces. So let's uh, split that right open and um, see what we can find. But effectively that is just, just a, um, inside of the cable so that's not all that impressive okay let's uh, get it apart and I'll uh, I'll split it all apart and then get back to you so at the moment all we can see is there's a brass sort of tube with the inside that is literally the inside of the cable pokes out the top I'm presuming this brass tube is attached to the shielding of the cable and if that's it, then, like I say, I'm no antenna expert, but hopefully some expert can. I thought that it would have been a little more sophisticated than that, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why they needed the extra length to 74 when none of it is used. Why couldn't they just make the antenna this high? Um, okay, well, let's, uh, let's cut let's uh, split this and see what's uh, see what's in here so there you go once you pull this apart that that bottom of that brass basically clamps the outside and there's some other bits and pieces here clamp the outside of the shielding of the cable and looks like that brass then goes all the way up to here and then there's that little piece of the inside of the antenna that sticks out the top so that's all that's inside your broomstick they pretty well just use the cable as the antenna I can't see any other electronics. There's no, there's nothing else in here on this particular antenna. So it's as simple as that. So I don't know. Uh, if anyone thinks they're getting a broomstick antenna and they're getting a good antenna and it should be better because it's, you know, it's a big fat antenna and it must have some special special uh, signal juice in there or something I don't know really what you're getting is just pretty well I don't know a normal whip antenna hidden inside a tube I don't know please comment down below if you know about this stuff um, and if you have a background in this particularly not just opinions but actually science and let me know what happens because uh, that's what it looks like to me the outside brass is clamped to shielding that brass goes up to there and that is pretty well all that's sticking out the top okay well, well there you go just a little bit about uh, pulling one of these things apart it's just my opinion on these antennas um, I'm not too sure this is one particular brand I'm not too sure if they're all the same or what the go is or maybe there's some real scientific reason to why all this works if you know please uh, comment but 
what I do know is my elevated feed 6dB gain, this is the 3dB on here, but the 6dB one that I stick on there is um, performing a lot better than the broomstick. So there you go. Comment below. I'm really interested in this stuff, so I'd be really interested in what uh, other experts have to say.